Hello, good day. Um, we will be continuing today on our cell ministry uh, teaching. Um, last uh, episode, we spoke to you about um, what the cell is and what are the different uh, levels of um, leadership in the cell system, and also the need for everyone to be a member of a cell and the need for everyone to aspire to become a cell leader you know not just to become a cell leader to grow your cell and become a senior cell and become a PCF and um, even beyond that you know so it is important for us to know that the idea of the cell ministry is born of God and our ministry particularly you know emphasizes the importance of every member being a member of a cell see this is where you um, gain or you have your identity in the church so it is important that as a member or as a leader to take the cell system very seriously today we will be looking at the essence of cell ministry and some other things now, what are the essence of the cell ministry? So, we're going to look at it. This refers to the ideas, perspective behind the cell ministry, which a cell leader and the members should have. The understanding of these essences will make a cell leader and members function effectively in the cell ministry. These fundamental essences include, one, you can see it, we have the pastoral care, why do we have the cell ministry? What is the relevance of every cell in church? Is to number one provide pastoral care for the members. Number two, it is for evangelism. Jesus said, "Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel." So, the cell ministry is for evangelism. I have always said, when we gather for our cell ministry or for our cell meeting, we must have new members must have new souls see you must have new souls either you are coming to the cell meeting with a new soul or you come to the cell and have some few minutes of prayer and go and win souls before you continue there is no cell meeting if there are no first timers this you must let it sink let this sink in your heart then number three is for edification. What is edification? Edification is building, building, building. You see, why do we come for the same ministry? For us to be edified, for us to be energized, for us to be strengthened. You see, so it's not a time for um, condemnation. It's not a time for just telling stories. It's a time to get the members edified, strengthened. They hear the word and they are strengthened, edified in their spirit. So it's a time to share the word. It's a time of impartation. And of course, it's also for ministry. Ministry here refers to the opportunities given to us, you know, to manifest the gift of God that is in us. And that is why we have said that in every cell, give your members um, a role. Let them have a role to play in the cell. So the cell leader is not expected to only be the one to um, do everything in the cell. No, 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 no. It's not expected to be the only one to do the only thing in the cell. It's to make sure every member of the cell have a role, something they are doing. And with that, they can begin to identify with the cell. They can begin to become fully responsible for the cell. And they can see themselves you know, as part of what is going on. And by so doing, the gift of God in their life is becoming manifested. So this you must allow to sink if you are a cell leader. Every member must have something they are doing, whether the person is a, um, is a secretary of the cell or is the one in charge of the technical or venue arrangement or is the one in charge of ushering people or is the one in charge of collecting offering or is the one in charge of, you know, one thing or the other. Then number five, the cell ministry is for what? Giving. You know, in our ministry, we say we live a life of giving. Every cell member must have the culture of giving. See, give, it shall be given unto you. 
good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For God so loved the world that he gave. You see, in seminary you give, you give, you give your finances, you see, you give of your money, you give of your time, you give of your energy. It's a time of giving, you see. You don't come to send me uh, and you say, I don't have anything to give. No, you should give something. You should give something. So uh, I call it a uh, PMG, see. The acronym I use to, 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 for it to always come to my mind is PMG, P-E-E-M-G, PMG. So don't forget that. Now let's move to the next one. That is um, the pastoral care. Let's look at the pastoral care. Let's give you an instance here. In a large church like ours, in a large church like ours, the cellular is the link between the pastor and the rest of the members. The members enjoyed the pastoral care through the cellular. This simply means that a member who is not in the cell ministry is somehow disconnected from the pastor. And so it is advisable for every member to join the cell. On the other hand, a cell leader who is disconnected from the pastor is a disadvantage to the members he or she is leading. Invariably, the members will not partake of the pastoral care. Now, this is very, very serious. See, the pastoral care has to do with the love care, the, um, the guidance, the counsel, you know, the feeding, the nourishment, and you know, the, the oversight. See, that the pastor render over the brethren. You see, that's what the pastoral care is. And the anointing of, uh, on the pastor is for the members and is for every single member of the church, which is why we said that the cellular, who is the link between the pastor and the members, must always be connected to the pastor. How would the cellular be connected to the pastor? We'll let you know about that. Now, look at it again. The pastoral care, the word pastor refers to a shepherd, someone who looks after a sheep. Care means to look after, pay, has, pay serious attention to avoid damage, risk, or error, provision of welfare and protection, etc. Simply put, the pastoral care is carried out by way of leading, guiding, guarding, feeding, nurturing the brethren. This is what the pastor gives to the member under the influence of the spirit. By the influence of the spirit, he gives the members leadership, guidance, and then he also will guard them, protect them, feed them with the word, nurture them with the truth. You see, so in raising up members, these are the things that the pastor, under the influence of the spirit, carry out. Let me just show you this before um, we round up for today. What are the ways by which a cellular can be disconnected from the pastor? What are the ways by which a cellular can be disconnected from the pastor? Now, that can happen if a cellular does not attend church service or services regularly. This is important. Every cellular is mandated to attend all services, whether in the, in the church, in the group church, or even in the zona church, or at the ministry level, where Pastor Chris is ministering, or a pastor here in the state is also ministry, you should attend every service because as a leader, you don't want to be disconnected from the pastor. How? Because if, it, if you are not there, when the pastor, your own pastor is ministry, and then he has said something that your members need to know, you cannot transmit it, which means you have disconnected them from what the pastor is saying, from the blessings that the pastor has brought. You have disconnected them, which means they cannot get it because you don't have it. If a cell leader does not attend training programs with the pastor, that's number two. If a cell leader does not attend early morning prayers, like the one we have every Saturday, and other prayer meetings, that could lead to disconnection. If a cell leader speaks evil of the pastor or disrespect the pastor, you're disconnected. When a cell leader does not submit the cell register and offerings regularly, she or he is disconnected. If a cell leader does not pay his or her tithes and give for partnership regularly, that one is disconnected. A river that is disconnected from source will work dry. So is a disconnected cell leader. The anointing for pastoral care is with the pastor, not the cell leader. So the cell leader is not the pastor, but he is the cell leader, and that's all. 
So sometimes some some seller that you know you know um, doesn't give the pastor information about the members uh, about their members, and that is wrong. For instance, a member is having some issues, maybe in their health, maybe in their business, and the pastor is not aware. Then you are disconnecting the members also indirectly from the pastor. You, the pastor ought to know. So he can come in and pray with them. He can come in and guide them. He can come in, you know, and know what is happening to them. And then they can come out of that situation because the, the pastoral anointing is with the pastor. The anointing to cause a change in the member's life is the pastor. So you are like a caretaker as a seller. Please, this is very important. Let the pastor know the, the, to the details, the state of every one of your members. Every one of your members, let the pastor know the state, their state. Is anyone going to challenge? Is anyone sick in their body? Is anyone having marital issue? Is anyone having uh, one of their children having problem? We want to know. We want to know if this is important. So as a seller, please take this in very, very seriously. Very seriously. Don't just disconnect the, uh, the pastor. I mean, sorry, sorry the, the members from the pastor. Don't just disconnect them. Bring them all the time. Let us see them. That's why you also bring them to church. And that way is to make sure all your members are coming to church. That's another way of connecting them, by following them up. See, the Bible says our labor of love shall not be in vain. So as a seller, then make up your mind to stay connected to the pastor and you will prosper and reign in life and ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I say this to you, please take this assignment very seriously. As you get connected to the pastor, you will prosper and reign in life and ministry, which your cell will grow, your cell will expand, you will experience progress because you are following the set pattern. This is so, so important you carry out. And God bless you all as you listen to me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.